Be Bye. brave, Lavi. <laughs> You might package too much. Are you eating or are you not eating? No, I had a wrap before I came out. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god, oh my god. Hello. No problem. Yeah. Uh, no, that's all. Thank you so much. Lovely. I'll see you at the window. Thank you very much. You did so well. Right, who's making a phone call in their blue toe? Who's doing that? Why do it's people so loud? do that? Hi, I'm James Welsh. And I'm Robert Welsh. And this is your weekly reminder that we are not the same person. Although we didn't even change coffee. <laughs> Twins. Twins. Well, today, such, such a video we have. Yeah. We are doing another Q&A where we sit in my car without the air conditioning on because we can't because of sound and answer your life threatening burning life questions <laughs> yeah. advice tips because you know we know everything <laughs> who are we to give advice everything every can you see ashton no you can't can you not see <laughs> no, me you can see it <laughs> ashton's picked out some questions we asked over on instagram Get behind for your other. life questions not makeup or skincare related it's not about that sometimes life sometimes it, life isn't about that it says it's like cigarettes mm. but i like it should we just get into it? Let's get into it. Our first, we're not going to say names, just no, in this case. Is private. How to navigate a friendship where the other person is acting jealous slash secretly hateful. Get rid of them. You don't have time for people like that in your life. Get here's, rid of them. Here's, now, sometimes it's not as easy just to get rid of them, though. What if you've been friends for a very long time? When people do that, right, they're trying to get, like, a attention, attention and a, a, a reply back from you that's like, oh, maybe it's not that great. Just remember, in your head, there's a reason they're jealous, there's a reason they're hateful. Mm. How pathetic are their lives that they have to do this? Their, their feelings, they're, they're pushing onto someone else. Just remember how small a person they are. Maybe, and then you think, you know what? Yeah. If I can just, you know what, if I, I just be like, yeah, okay. Maybe say, like, listen, I've realised you've been a little bit down recently. If they have it, if rather than saying I, I've noticed you've been a little bit hateful and spiteful recently. Yeah. But listen, I've noticed you've been acting a bit different recently. What's, like, what's really wrong? And if I yeah. don't tell you, then they're just being a little bitch. And you've been a little bitch. Just be like, oh, yeah, we'll meet up next week, next week, next week. Yeah, oh, my God, I have so much. Yeah. Oh, my God, I forgot. Uh, I didn't realise that was next is week. Is that the time? I've got things over there. I have theatre practice. Yeah, pretend, move to the theatre. Yeah. But if you're not the kind of person <laughs> that wants to speak to people, because I know some people don't like, mm. it's not exactly confrontation, but some people don't like that. Just be like, you know what, yeah, okay, great. Like, if they're like, just tell me something, um, no, I'm gonna tell you something nice that happened, you'd be like, okay, whatever. Mm. And then this is how I deal with it. Oh, I just got a pay rise at work. It's only 50p, but it still helps. Mm, I've had pay rises before and it's not really whatever, I don't care. Yeah, okay. And then drive <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> and then leave or just stop the conversation there. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe just look at them like this. <laughs> look at them like this. Yeah. <laughs> Until they stop. Until they say something nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've solved another solved one. Solved that one. <laughs> Polite way to tell your manager you can't do fucking overtime. Say, um, pretend you got something else on all the time. That's what I used to do. So like, oh, I'm really sorry I can't, but I'm studying for this, or I've got like freelance work to do when I get home, or, you know, just say you've got other things occupying your life. I'd be like, excuse me, we need to, we need to talk and be really nice and just be like, listen, when I started this job, I obviously knew my contract was hours. Like, lie. And that's, <laughs> you're, you're like, yeah. <laughs> and that's what I wanted to do. However, if you are willing to extend my contract formally, which they won't, especially if you work in retail, mm. um, then I am willing to do it overtime. And if you're willing to pay, you know, have it on a contract as payment. If they're not, then just be like, well, then I'd rather stick to my contracted hours. Thank you so much for thinking of me, though, for overtime. What, but is that like when... And then go, call, okay, cool, yeah. Go. <laughs> Is that when they call you in, though, on your day off? It's like, oh, can you stay a few more hours? I'm like, no, because I knew be like, I was no. going to have a day off like a week ago, so I planned something. Yeah. Boy. But then the more, if you're and they'll be like, at work, team and we're like, oh, can you stay another two hours? Be like, no. I used to all the time be like, no, I'm really sorry, I can't. But they just stop asking you eventually. Mm -hmm. The more you let them know that you're just doing your contracted hours and don't let them guilt you into thinking that to be a part of the team, yeah. you need to extend your contracted mm -hmm. hours. As long as you're working to your fullest yeah. and doing what you can do the, during your time the there. The best way to do it to any customer service-based job is to request 
something to be done formally. And then they're like, oh, no, 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 it's yeah. fine, it's fine. Like, I don't officially, you know, you want the official title that you're being paid for, or you want the official pay of the mm. title you're given, or you want, they'll be like, oh, no, it's fine, and they'll move on to someone else. Mm. They'll be like, I know, um, I know that Jackie Office One wants overtime. Yeah, bring someone else into it. Or every time they ask you to do overtime, go, yeah, only if you buy a pack of my skinny tea. <laughs> And then just give them, give them some tea bags if they say yes. <laughs> yeah, try and sell them some essential like, oils. Let's have a deal here. You buy yeah. my skinny tea and I'll do it. You have to buy 100 essential oils. <laughs> <laughs> and then they won't do it. For every hour I do. Another one. So, how do I start up my own brand? With Skin Up being the number one brand in the world, headed by two scientist CEO uh, CEOs. CEOs. <laughs> CEOs. Yeah, you're right. We have worked really hard and we probably <laughs> are the world's best. Yeah. <laughs> to start a successful brand like Skin Up, you have to not make the product. Not do anything, but say what you're gonna do. Just never yeah, do it. be like, oh my god, we tested this product in the lab, and then when people, when people ask about the lab, just be like, it's the lab. I went there once, but I can't remember. Yeah, be like, is. it's over there. But oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, don't make a website. <laughs> don't make an Instagram. Don't yeah. do anything. But I make, but make us. lots of promises. <laughs> make lots of promises. <laughs> You know, one day we might have our own brand, and then maybe we can give you more information. Another one. Another brand. Yeah, another brand. Skin down. Skin down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't it? Okay, this is a good one. Should I get a second dog to keep, keep my cockapoo company? <laughs> I would say no, if it's just for that reason, because... I got my second dog thinking, oh my god, it would be so nice if Winnie had someone to play with and he doesn't play with her. They just play with you. They play with me. And they like roll they'll roll around with each other and you know do the basics. We got a second like, dog oh. not to keep Brie company, but because we wanted another dog. Yeah, exactly. And I wouldn't necessar necessarily say the outcome of having two dogs is that they keep each other company. No. But saying that all Brie has known, because we work from home, is us being around. Exactly, yeah. So instead of, they will play with each other, and you definitely notice, like, Brie's definitely more fun mm -hmm. with her set, and they, they, they'll play, and she reverted back to puppy stage for a bit. But I wouldn't say that then she's necessarily, That's like, such more, point. like, yeah. when we're alone, when we're gone from them, all they do is sleep anyway, yeah, like by default. Yeah, yeah. So that's the thing what you, you say about going back to puppy stage. If you feel like you finally like settled, like your dog has learned everything, you know they've learned to sit, come inside when you want them to. But your sleeping pattern's great. They're just getting into it. I wouldn't necessarily get a dog right now mm. because oh my god, it puts everything out of whack and you have to kind of almost start, start again. again. Yeah, and I wouldn't. I I don't really think they need the company. I mean, they might do. I don't know. I feel like, because when, mm, when I first got Brie, my partner was working. Mm. So when, because we were trying to like leave her alone to teach yeah. her to be alone. Yeah. So I would literally shut, leave her in the kitchen where all her bits were. Yeah. Then go upstairs and do my work and like shut the door and everything. And she kind of got, like that Since was her life. Right and next she, to her. Fuck's sake. <laughs> This whole fucking There's car There's so many spaces Honestly. available. Yeah. Oh, it's got its hood up, it's boiling. Um. And that was her way of life and she got used to it. She was mm. in a structure and she was fine with that. Like, as I said, she'd predominantly sleep. And it's the same now we've got two of them. Yeah. Like, they want your company, really. Yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't say that is the only reason to get one. But re just remember how tough it was. Yes. It doesn't get... That's one thing. It doesn't get... Easy. You think you've been through it all before. Watch your dog that you already have get severe black diarrhea because they're worried about the other dog. Oh, my crate. God. What the fuck is that about? And then, but you also have to make sure you're paying attention to the other dog yeah, as well. Yeah, because you don't want to like, feel like left out. Oh, now they're having a conversation. Oh, there's I can't buying, deal with it. They're buying weed. Buying weed. Guys, there's a weed transaction going. <laughs> don't look, James. Let them do it in peace. Oh my god, he's eating a fucking panini. Oh, it's coming for free food. I oh, I would do that. I would do that, 100%. I love my boyfriend, but crave intimacy with others. What shall I do? Well, don't do that. <laughs> well, here's the deal. You need to have a conversation then with your boyfriend and be like, listen, are we in an open relationship? Mm. But then it also depends how old you are and where you are in your relationship. Yeah, exactly. For, no matter how what relationship you're in, you're gonna find other people attractive, but then craving intimacy from them is something different. Yeah. So it depends 
you know, are you at a point where you're like, okay, maybe I'm not ready to be in a relationship right now because I mm, still want to, mm. you know, exper experience other people and different types of relationships? Yeah. Or are you just kind of like wanting an affair? Yeah, you different. I mean, yeah, I mean, and here's the thing. If thing if oh, he has a sausage bap, it looks really oh, good. I wish we got food now. Go back through. No, I'm not driving back through. Let's so see what they have in pets at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you love your boyfriend, but you are thinking about cheating on him, then maybe the connection isn't there and again it's okay to be attracted to other people and think oh you know i wonder what their penis tastes like tastes like Take it out because kids are watching their parents. No, leave it in. No, kids leave watch it in. It. Blur it and um, be better. <laughs> put, just put a warning at the beginning, like, I don't uh. want to say shit. <laughs> No, what was I trying to say? Uh, what was I saying? It's a right to naturally be curious about other people. <laughs> yeah, but but if you're thinking that, then I don't think you're ready to settle down just yet. And that's not a bad thing. No. If that's what you need to do, then that's what you need to do. That's mm -hmm. life. That's life, but it's a difficult conversation to Absolutely. have. Absolutely, and, and it's, you know, because you don't want to hurt the other person. Mm, just don't have an affair because it opens so many Makes different... Makes it worse. It'll make it worse. Exactly. James, mm -hmm. uh, does work slash life balance get more manageable with age? No. I guess it depends what job you're in. I think with age, you realise that um, happiness and your stress levels are more important than yeah. making money yeah. and getting things done all the time. Yeah. And you appreciate the fact that you need to take a break. I think mm. when we were younger, when we were both in jobs where it had like a freelance kind of like out of hours aspect mm. to it, we would just do it. Mm. And that included like... Um, early starts, late finishes, and, and that's because it felt finish, like you had to going out with the team. Yeah, and, and it know. felt like you were trying to do something all the time, trying mm. to reach a goal all the time. Yeah, and sometimes reaching goals can be exhausting. Yeah, and does it become? You know what? It's it's almost like it doesn't that become easier. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't come easier. I think you put things into perspective, perspective a little bit more, mm -hmm. and you think about what is more important than something else. And it's not like giving up, but you're a little bit like, you oh know what? God, you know what? Just in case it crash. Um, Ooh. yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's a different no, one. It, it, it depends, depends on your job as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, because mm. I think if you work a nine to five, then you finish, right, on the weekend. Whereas if you're freelance like us, it is tough to not quickly grab your laptop and jot down the idea you just thought of or start creating a whole new video around something or mm. it, it is tough, but it's not easy, but it's important to have yeah. that work-life balance. But yeah. no, I wouldn't say it gets easier. You just learn to manage it more learn to realise you need it, mm. and learn how to structure that work-life yeah, balance. Yeah, that's it. And that's it. Please. So no, it doesn't get easier, but manageable, for sure. For sure. Um, James, how how to stop drinking Red Bull every day? Why would you stop when it's got all the essential vitamins? Mistake it for kidney stones <laughs> and get told by a doctor to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your experience, please. Hi. So I had a really bad pain in my back for a really long time. And then it moved to the front, so I googled it, and it was like kidney stones. I was like, "Fuck!" So I that's why you don't Google your. Symptoms. That's why I don't Google your symptoms. So one day it got so bad that I had to call one one one, which is the non emergency number, and they referred me to an emergency doctor. <laughs> He then pushed my stomach around a bit, saw that I was diagnosed with IBS about seven years ago and asked me what I'd done about it. I was like, nothing. And then asked me what I ate and drank and then weighed me. And they were like, like, you're overweight. They were like, you're overweight. You drink you shit. Eat. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then they made me poo in a cup and took my blood. Did they actually make you poo in a cup? Yeah, because they wanted to see, like, allergies and stuff. Mm. So, it's, I, I've swapped my Red Bull for coffee. So, Red Bull's listen, crucial, I don't know, okay? I'm working it out. one of your five days. I'm working <laughs> it out right now. <laughs> what tips do you have for making friends as an adult? I'm not alone. It's actually a thing. Oh, uh, sorry. I said that really, really wrong. Yeah, that sounded. <laughs> what tips do you have for making friends as an adult? I'm not alone. It's actually a thing. Yeah, I, I see this a lot online. Mm. A lot of people um, talk about making new friends. Here, here's the thing, right? As an adult, as people who are very introverted and actually don't care about making new friends, if ever again, because we're fine. I don't want you. We have our friends and we're fine. I like, I like acquaintances. I yeah. like having people to talk to. Yeah. Um, 
God, how do you suggest? It's hard to say because we don't like going out, we don't like doing things, and what new friends brings is constant invites to do stuff. You know we don't what do. though? I, I whenever we go to events, right? Me and James had like a pact recently that we would go to each other's events that we got invited to because we don't like going to events alone. And or just in general. And we went to a glow recipe one recently with Colt Beauty. So, it's such a great we time. We had such a good time. Had such a nice time. Met some people that we, you know, knew off online and hadn't spoken to. That I've been following for a or, long time. Yeah, or maybe we haven't met before. Such, like, great, great people. And it's I would be really happy to see, see them again yeah. in, in the future at other events and stuff. Mm. So it's actually really, really nice. And I think it's sometimes about pushing yourself into those situations that mm. you're not comfortable with. And actually when you get into them, you're like, like you said, you're not alone. A lot of people are in the same situations. Mm. Don't go meeting people online because they might be serial killers. But maybe there's things you can do. Maybe there's clubs. Maybe there's people you meet while you're out running. Whoever, are are out there running. apps like Tinder that are just for friends? Bumble that are just for friends? Is that just for yeah. friends? Mm. Bumble friends. There but we again, go. again, there's people never are dodgy and But training. don't you have to have a Facebook account? Facebook profile and then to then they verify you is that just Tinder? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Meet up in groups of people at things. I don't know because I don't do anything. I don't want to do anything. No, my only my I, all I can say about that is go to things that maybe you wouldn't before. Mm. Um go on a fake like you know those those dating things where you sit on chairs and you go around in circles. What's that called, Ashton? Speed dating. You don't know what I mean either. Why would you want to speed, <laughs> speed date? date? Well, you friends. might get to talk to the other women there. And True. be like, you know, then you're all in the same... Oh, number one, if you're not actually single, and you'll be lying, mm. and your whole future is based on a lie. So, um, I mean, we don't really know. We don't really know. I'm on a dating app for the first time in five years. Ooh. How do I start talking to people? What to say? Hello! Hello, Gavin! Do you like water? Do you like crisps? Oh, I don't yeah. know. Oh, we kind of pre pre date date. We do pre date date. So apps in terms of our relationships, yeah. Um, how would you start a conversation? So, okay, say you're on a dating app. I don't know. Go like, oh my god, are you Kelly's friend? Yeah. Then be like, no, who's oh, Kelly? Oh, oh, oh my god, god I'm so, so sorry, sorry if like, I recognise for him. And yeah, now. I thought you were Love Sassy and Kelly's friend. Yeah, <laughs> Kelly, Kelly from the desk's friend. Be like, yeah. nice to meet you anyway. Here's the deal with date. Here's why I don't like dating apps, right? And I don't think they're a good idea. And some people might, because a lot of people meet in dating apps. Dating apps allow people to say no with no reason. Yeah. It's easy to say no and it's quick to say no to people. And it's like you haven't dated them, you haven't met them out, you haven't seen them in real life. And then that translates into real life and we're quick to dismiss people. Mm. Um, and I don't think it's a good idea. Go on moving table dates. <laughs> Go on those circle table dates. Get out into the clubs, the bars. Yeah. Um, maybe, you know. The library, hang around libraries dropping books. <laughs> Oh, you mean drop the books? Drop the books. Bash into people. Um, ever so clumsy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's friend? Kelly. Are you Kelly? Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. I thought we met at this club. Oh, you go to that club. club. Yeah, I'm Kelly's friend. You <laughs> like dinosaurs too, looking at the book. What's your favourite dinosaur? <laughs> I don't know. How do you say so? Because people might be a dick back. Do you know what I mean? And then you, you, you like lose confidence a bit. Get out into the clubs. <laughs> we don't know! We're That's not... one we didn't solve. I'm so sorry. We're not sorry. doing very well today. I'm so sorry. Alright, we need to get out of this fucking car. Should we go to Pets at Home? Let's go to Pets at Home. <laughs> right. I hope that answers your life questions. Leave some of them down below and maybe you can all answer each other's. Help each other out. Yes. Thanks so much, everyone. You can follow me for more make- oh, I can't really see the Can we just go? Yeah. Thanks, Bye, everyone. everyone. P.O. Boxing a boxing. You Yay. ready? Yeah. Thank you. If you want to send us something, we have a P.O. Box below. <laughs> Please don't feel you have to. Fragile. I don't Fragile. know if do this. <laughs> Table. You're doing a really good job. Thank you. Ooh. Separate letters. Thank you. Let's read, Let's read these. Ones. Oh, it's a birthday card. Oh. Thank you, Cherry. Cherry. Ooh. I want to be called Cherry. I want to be called Cherry. I want to be called Cherry. It's our birthday. Oh, wait, when does the video come out? Way after our birthday. birthday oh. Yeah, but this is before our it's birthday. It's not our birthday, birthday yet. So, so. Thank you. Maybe thank you. Wait. Yeah, maybe we should wait. Then. Robert. Oh. So these were candles, right? Yes. And then we have a spell and a bottle. Yeah. Mm. And garlands with our birthstone. That on. is so cool. Ooh. Ooh. 
Dogs are my favourite. Everyone else can fuck right off. <laughs> Is that what the scent of the candle? I'm not antisocial. I just fucking hate people. <laughs> <laughs> Does she make these? I think, I don't know. I, have we said that before? What? Have we said these things? I don't know. <laughs> it's something we would say. It's not perfect. That's what I'm, I'm oh, like. Oh, wow. Let me mm. Wait. Wait. Uh, uh. No, you meant to swap. We meant to swap. Oh, so you... I thought we were going to hold them for each other. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh, give me this. Oh, okay. That smells like only the good really starburst. Nice. Yeah. Mm. This smells like, oh, I've just been, I've been really clean. That smells clean. Oh, I want to have... smell this. I should smell this. I should smell, I should smell this. Though. I should smell that one. It's nice, isn't it? Sweet. It's really nice. Don't you lose your lids. Really, mm. These are really nice. Thank you so much. And they're just so, so perfectly labelled. <laughs> <laughs> smell really good. Oh, happy birthday! This is so cute. These are our first birthday presents. That's yours. Thank this you. So oh, oh, health, wealth, and pros prosperity spell. I can't say that. Aqua, oh, aqua, aquamarine and amethyst. This is so cute, thank you. And it's handmade by Cherry. Wait, I'm not in mine yet. No, I don't want to look, because I want to oh, see sorry, my... Sorry, no, no, sorry. you're fine, you're fine, I'm just not looking. No, I'm not fine, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. You're right. Health, wealth and prosperity spell of aquamarine amethyst. Did she say to leave so us by cute. here? I'm gonna leave it by my camera. Yeah, I'm gonna put it near my, my computer. Oh, that's so cute. This is beautiful. Thank you. Look at all the wax. Like, What's the little down here, little rabbit? I've got like a little um, crow. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, or raven. Hide okay. your face. They're like dripping waxy. That is so cute. I want a nice color she has. They're really cute. They're really nice. Thank you. I don't know what's getting into this. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. I don't want to oh. drop it in any way. Oh. oh. And what are those? Handmade with Magic Love by Cherry. Aquamarine, March Crystal, Clarity, Serenity, Harmony, and you. You. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. This is really cute. Thank you. Handmade oh, with Magic and Love by Cherry. This is going absolutely everywhere. Before Look I start crystal filming. crystal colours. Look at those lovely little Is that our first? Oh, I no, think so. Aquamarine, I didn't know that. Yeah. They're so cute. These are really cute. Thank, Thank look at, you. Look, how it, look at it catch the light. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh, these are amazing. Thank you. Oh, God, I'm going to tangle it. What yeah, I no, to do? Lay it, lay it How? Like this. <laughs> Somebody help. <laughs> How cute is this? Oh. Las Vegas? Is it? That's so cute. This is so cool. Oh, I, I love this. I'm this never going to Vegas. So can I, that, can um, I do it in the way that yeah, yeah. you're on the envelope? Here we go. Look, cut the... You're literally doing exactly what I just did. Look, cut the the, the lady who um, the medium I went to. Oh yeah, told Dad. me never oh. to go to Vegas because she went. Like, you know, usually I wouldn't care, but she got so much stuff accurately and said so many things that I was like, "How do you even know?" Like she's the one who doesn't charge, right? Well, she no, she charged, but um, only saw two people a month and had a six month <laughs> wait list. Well, um, did she say why? Was she like, "You're dying"? She went to me. You don't. You don't like. Um, you don't like it hot? And I was like, no, no, no. And she was like, you never want to go to Vegas, do you? Which I've, n I've never wanted to, but I w it wouldn't have been off. You know, I just never considered mm -hmm. it. And she kind of went, good. She went, just never go to Vegas. And I was like, you or yeah. me too? Me, me, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> go if I was you. Thanks, Trisha. Thank you. We have these little packs of stickers. I can already see what they are. Little Mickey Mouse is right there. The BTS ones. How do you know? Because I saw Jungkook. Oh. <laughs> like to have like dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. Aww. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, no. Junk shuck. <laughs> I guess it. <laughs> you don't get it. Yeah. Oh, cute. Why oh, is that really cute? Today? Yeah, right. Well, it's because I'm going like yeah. <laughs> Oh, they're so sweet. That is cute. I need like, because we get so many stickers. I feel like I should get like a Stick huge album. thing and just put all the stickers on it then frame it. Do you know what I mean? Like what's a, a three? Cork bird. What? A cork bird. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's really not what I meant at all. You mean actually. a cork bird? No, no. You guys are so creative. I know. Oh, we've got this um, package here. 
from Israel. Yes. That feels so far away. I know. How exciting. Oh yeah, I'm like, Ronnie? Ronnie? Oh, look at this. <laughs> Hide your face. Is it a t-shirt? Is it? No, it's Phil. It's this. There go, I'll just there do it there. Cute. <laughs> it's like the painting. Oh. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm going to assume this is for me. <laughs> Thank you. This is so cute. Cute. Look at these are. Look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they send the back for James, for Marcus. Oh my god, these are so cool. That's so cute. How have you done oh, that? Yeah. Oh, they're like little collage -y things. That is so oh. cool. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. So amazing, thank you. What was the other one for Marcus? A little doggy on a swing. Oh, that is so cute. Look little, little Evie bird. on a swing there. Oh, baby. Well, this one's just addressed to Robert, so no, I'll wait. see you soon. <laughs> Robert, this is from the new Disney dining mystery pin box. I thought you would love it, Audra. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Thanks, Audra. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know about mystery pins, James. No, I, I collect mystery pins. Have you seen my. Oh my God. Oh. oh. <laughs> What's a mystery pin? Um, You buy a box of pins and you trade them, oh. basically. <laughs> right? Show. Wait, I hold it back a bit. There we go. Uh, oh, oh, it instantly went out of focus. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, that's really that's cute. This place. Oh, it's not in focus at all. There it. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I'm gonna keep it here. We'll sh we'll like split that. We'll share it. How? I'll have it one week. <laughs> you can have it the other. No, no, no. <laughs> Thank you so much, Audra, and um, I hope your latest trip to Disney World was the best. I know it was because you told me, and I saw pictures. Thank you so much, Thank everyone. Thank you so much. That's amazing. As we always, really you don't have it. to send us nothing. No, you don't have to send you us nothing. nothing. But if you want, the address is in the description box down below. Just a letter. Just a letter. Just a hello. A hi. picture of you and your best. <laughs> <laughs> best. Uh, do it. No, you're right. Yeah, it's yeah. right. Thank you so much, everyone. Mm -hmm. uh -huh.